Hey guys, how's it going? Go see Richard today, and today I'm going to be unboxing the new iPhone 13 Pro Max. Now, Rich, why the heck did you get a new phone? Why did you just mess up your shot? Well, let's put this one right here, and I'll show you why. I fell. Look at how bad that happened. Yeah, I fell on this Huawei P30, and well, yeah, she's not too good anymore. And then... In the meanwhile, I've been using a Pixel 2 and oh my gosh, I forgot how bad this phone was. So let's go ahead, take this, take this invoice sticker off and let's break the tag. Whew. And another one. Ouch. Whew. And there she be. So nice. Oh, look at that. We'll go through that in a sec. Let's just admire this, because that's what Apple always does, right? I haven't owned Apple since the iPhone 5, from which I opened it for a couple seconds, and ooh, look at that, very nice. If you hear panting, you hear my dog. I'll show you her in a second, but first, let's take a look. Oh, well, thank you for buying Apple, probably. No, it's little poker. You will need this poker. And that's my dog getting her toys out. So. Throw that away. You don't need it. No, of course you do. Uh, C adapter to Apple. So that way you, you can use this as a transfer cable and of course charge cable. And that's all you get in here. That's it. That's it. Beautiful box, but garbage. So we'll put this here. Instructions, you can, oh, and look at that. You got a sticker because everyone wants to put an Apple sticker on their uh, Intel PC. And Let's open this up and listen to my dog bite her bone. I guess the first thing we should do is probably pop this open. As you can see, we've got our volume buttons on the side. Let's see. Whew. You can see that nice and shiny. Uh, clean design, nothing on that side. Uh, that might be the power button. If you've watched my XR review, you know that I fight trying to find power buttons. So I'm going to put this down before I do what I did to the P30 and then I'm going to pick it back up and then I'm going to take another chip. No. And then we're going to go right here and pop again, sink it in, grab that out, pull out your SIM tray, admire it. Next, go to your old phone or your really, really, really old phone, backup phone that is really 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 bad oh wow it came out on the first try go figure oh and then i fling this sim card halfway across the mountain okay we have the sim card what we need to do is make sure the chip is facing the right way which is up and the reason why you can tell is if it were to fit the other way it wouldn't read properly so sim is in that sim is in boy and click. Look at that. Fits right back into the phone. Let's see if it's actually got juice. Am I actually holding the power button today? Whoa, I did it. Perfect. Kudos to me as I drop the phone and make it that much worse. And then I hit the camera and make everyone have a head shake. And then I totally not line up the shot. But now I did. Oh, hello to you, Apple. Whoa, so many languages, but English is mine. And why did you get really dark? I don't know. But hey, we'll let it stay dark. Um, whoa, so many countries. Where do I live again? I live in Canada, not Cape Town, not Cape Verdon. Let me guess, it's at the very top or something. Oh look, it already selected Canada. Whoa, okay, hit Canada. Mm, quick start, set up manually. I don't have a current iPhone or iPad, so we're gonna do this. I'm gonna log it into my Wi-Fi and I'm not gonna show you my password. Give me two seconds. It's so secretive that no one can know. It's really not that much. It may take a moment to activate your phone. So, yeah, after you do that, look at that. It's activating. That's pretty cool. If you're wondering why my camera just darkened, it's because the screen got brighter. 
two opposites of an equation. Well, that's going, slip your SIM card tray back into your phone. Data and privacy. Sure, that sounds cool. Oops, I just turned on my other phone. Face ID. Continue. Look into it. Get started. Literally all it's doing is telling me to slide my face side to side, up and down. It actually has a little green bar. So it'll tell you which way to aim your face to do it. You got to fill in the green circle. You'll see the circle. I'm not going to show you how to do it because that'd be weird. But all you do is literally you look down, left, right, and you just fill in the circle so it's all green all the way around. And it does it twice so that way it can scan your face. Might be a little bit too much. Oh yeah, and then it wants a pin code. Go figure, give it a pin code. What? Custom numeric code, man. I'm not selecting a... There we go, next. I don't like to use their preset amount of numbers. I put in my own amount of numbers. 64 characters for the win. Look at this, transfer from iPhone, move data from Android. So if you have an Android phone, you can hit that. I'm actually not going to transfer any data right now. Um, don't transfer data apps and blah, blah, blah. Now I don't have one of these. I really don't think I've ever created one. So I might have to create an Apple ID. I don't have one yet. Create a free Apple ID. Whoa, okay, let's put this in. If you have an Apple ID, just say it there and whatnot. My birthday is not 2021. That'd be weird. Uh, nobody needs to know my birthday, but it's probably on the internet somewhere. Next. And then after you do that, if you're creating one and you put in your name and your birthday, then it wants your email address. It doesn't have to be an Apple one. You can make it anything you want. No, I don't want Apple news and announcements. And then again, it wants a password for your email. So make sure you make a good password for your email. Or your Apple ID, that way your kids or your dog can't get on there and get free treats. All right, let's see if it works. Awesome, it found a phone number. I'm not gonna show you my phone number, but yeah, it'll automatically say. I'll hit continue. Oh look, Apple Terms and Service of Agreement. I agree, because otherwise you probably just get told to box it up. I'm gonna move it away from this, just in case it gives you my Apple ID passwords and stuff like that. If it doesn't, then that's not a big deal. This may take a few minutes. We are creating new Apple IDs. You know what? Well, this does its thing. Let's show you my dog. Because she wants to be super seen. Hi, Mika. What are you eating? Did you do that? What did you do? It's okay. You're all good. She's so worried that I just called her out. Mika, it's okay. What's this? You're good. Hey, I have to get back to the phone. I have to get back to, stay down, down. Oh, and there goes all everything. That's why you don't get your dog riled up during a video. Okay, there's more. Hello, swipe to open. Oh, I gotta put in my passcode for the first time. How exciting. Okay. Keep your iPhone up to date, continue. Ooh. I'm just gonna say yes for right now, but you can always disable these later iCloud keychain, keep your passwords, credit card information. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Okay. Um, continue. Siri, sure. Hi, Siri. Hi, Siri. Hey, Siri. 
Hey Siri, send a message. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, set a time for three minutes. Hey Siri, play some music. Oh, sweet. Hello, Siri. Press and hold the side button to talk to Siri anytime. Sure. No, I don't want to share my audio recordings, weirdo. I'm not going to look at my screen times. That's just scary. Set up later. I don't want to do it. Don't share analytics with Apple. Whoa. Hey. Oh. I like dark at night and light during the day, so that's hard for me to say. I'm just going to say light for right now. Uh, standard, not that zoomed stuff. Welcome to iPhone. Pretty sweet. So from here, I'll download my apps and stuff. But what I'm gonna actually end up doing is let's take some photos. I just wanna show you what the camera's like on this thing. Of course, in the settings, you can do a couple of settings. Oh, look, it found out who I am. That's really cool. Hello to you too. Has my email there. Um, you can go through here for cellular stuff. What was I gonna show you? Display options. See light and dark so you can switch it at nighttime. You can also make it automatic. So it does it, I'm sure, at different times. We already have true tone. Night shift, there we go. See, you can set and schedule your night shift. That is something that I would recommend. Um, raise to wake, text size. Yeah, that's for if you wanna do all that. You know what, I don't think I'm gonna really do any of that. Clocks, whoa, Vancouver and Ottawa. Why Ottawa? I have no idea. Why do I care about Ottawa? Okay, anyways, you can add more clocks if you want to. Does it have any of my alarms? No, because I haven't set up any Google features yet. I'm gonna definitely add my Google features in here so I can get my Google contacts and stuff like that. Uh, speaking of which, I might have to download that feature so I can do it. Wow, I gotta get to know this stuff again. I literally haven't used an Apple since Number five. Oh, cool. Stocks. That's something I'll always use. Continue. The Dow Jones. Hey, the Dow Jones is up. Nice. G General Electric. How did they make it on? How's VTI doing? Let's check a real stock. VT. Well, not VRT. How did I mess that up? VTI. Whoa, it's up today, I think. After hours, it's down, but at close, it was up. See, very cool. I like me some stock apps, so that's tool. Did I say tool or cool? It's all good. Garage band, don't know why that's there, but I have to read up on it. Heart stuff for health, you know, Ottawa temperature. Again, I have no idea why it's giving me Ottawa stuff. Who cares? No. <laughs> all right. I think that's a bit of a dive. Let's go to camera. I want to, this is why you buy an iPhone, I think. Anyway, allow while using app. Yep. Uh, photography child. Let's see. Choose style. Use standard. Rich contrast. I don't know. I think I kind of like rich contrast, but I'm going to say standard. And the reason why is because I do a lot of editing. So that already looks kind of good. Let's uh, switch this video over to the f iPhone. But before we do, let's go to video. And I wonder if I can do the settings without completely dropping my phone. So see how it says HD? Never. 4K? Yeah, we'd go 4K. And then I want to see if I can drop this to 24. I'm a 24 guy. You can do the uh, 30 if you want. I just find 24 to be exactly what I like. It's like that cinematography mode. Okay, perfect. I am going to switch this over to cinematic. Whoa. Look at that. So I'm going to film my dog doing something and I'm going to edit it in right here. Well, Mika, 
Does that work for you? I really like this camera. It does pretty good. You're such a good puppy. You can take it off now if you want. Hey, I already said you look cute. I love you. I don't know if she likes it or not. Look at how cute that is though. Good job. Oh, you coming? All right, there you go. Oh, there's a look at the camera. Well, if you go back into your settings, quick thing for you, go to your contacts. If you came from an Android, you would go to accounts, add an account and add Google, put in your Google account settings. The reason why is then all your Google contacts that you've saved on your Android will go on. If they don't go on right away, one thing I'll tell you to do is go onto your Android device and save your Google contacts. I'm also going to show you one last thing you need to do when converting from Android to Apple, because if you don't, you won't get all your text messages. Open up your text messages on your Android. Click the three little dots right here. After you do that, hit settings. If you do that, you'll see chat features. Click on this. You'll see that mine is fine because I don't have uh, the, a new SIM card. I removed my SIM card from both my phones. If you didn't do that and you don't do that, then you'll still get Android text messages to hear for people that are using Android uh, devices because in there you'll see some chat features that allow you to use Android technology rather than Apple technology to send messages and they won't go to your iPhone. So you need to disable that in there. Last but not least, buy protection. I got the Defender series because as you've seen with my other phone, I'm pretty rough with them. I gotta have something that's nice and strong for them. I don't even need the belt clip off of here because I'm never gonna use the belt clip. It comes with a belt clip. I don't know why. Okay, after you do that, this is for an otter box, by the way, um, or a life proof, I guess. Life proof uses the exact same style mounting, but yeah. Just make sure you protect your investment, like I said. I wanna actually, I might end up getting one of those rock form cases too. I hear they're pretty dope, so. If you buy one of these, just make sure you separate all the little clips that are around the edge. You do that by just peeling them. There you go. Just be careful not to snap them. It's like, there you go. Perfect. Once you do that, put that down. Make sure the back of your phone is nice and clean, which mine still is. Slide it into here. Make sure you pop this back on the right way by matching up everything on it. Let's make sure, yes, it's just like this. Make sure you get all those clips in. I think that's it. One thing I will tell you is make sure you try the case because a lot of these cases that are labeled that might say uh, for the 13 Max uh, they're actually for the 12 and these companies are just slapping stickers on them. And the problem with that is the volume buttons don't hundred percent line up sometimes. So once we form fit this rubber all the way down, I'm going to try all of it just to make sure. So now that I've made sure, what is that on the side? Oh, security lock. Okay. There we go. Let's see, volume up, down, does it work? Uh, never mind. <laughs> it closes it, so let's see. If I were to click on something, that just, oh, see? Look at this, you got Richard back in the zone. He didn't do the uh, volume button, he did the wrong side. Volume's up. Volumes down. Yeah, no, this looks good. Oh, that's just one of those little pop in pieces. And then yeah, that's the close button. Everything looks fine to me. Cool case, real tree. 
I'm also going to be doing some uh, magnetic mounts. So I'm going to see if those magnetic mounts work on this case because apparently this case also allows for the wireless charging. I got to try that out too. Anyways, that's all it is for this video. I just wanted to show you the setup of it and that's how it goes. If you have an Android, you can always plug this into the Android and download all of it, but I don't like to do that because I like to re-download all my apps and it helps you clean up your phone because you might have a whole bunch of apps you don't need. But maybe if you forgot some passwords, it'll help. Anyways, thanks again for watching. Press the like if it helped you out.